Now we are going to learn how the zener diode it plays a vital role in the circuit of voltage regulator. Here I am going to draw the circuit diagram of the voltage regulator in which the zener diode is used. First you have to draw the power supply there from you are able to get the DC voltage as input. First I will draw the input DC input voltage that acts as the source. So, this is a positive and negative positive negative. So, there from you are able to get the input voltage. So, therefore, we have to write it as DC input voltage. This is to be fed into the voltage regulator circuit. Here one resistance is connected that name of the resistance which is used here is called as what is this series resistance are you clear that series resistance its name is RS since it is connected in the series it is named as RS here this series resistance it plays a vital role it is used to, to limit the zener current with the help of this the current which is passing through the zener diode can be limited. In the meantime by using this resistance we are able to avoid any damage to the zener diode that is why this is called as current limiting resistance. And then you know where the zener diode to be connected that zener diode it plays a vital role here the zener diode to be connected. The symbol of the zener diode must be drawn properly you draw like this this is called as zener diode. The zener diode it is used in the circuit of voltage regulator I will tell you what is voltage regulator later and then Finally, in the output side we are going to connect one resistance. The name of the resistance is called load resistance. Wherever you get the output, in the output side one resistance must be connected. The name of the resistance is called load resistance. Across the load resistance alone we are able to get the output. That is why this is called as load resistance RL. Across this two terminals we are able to get the output are you clear across the RL we can get the output voltage constant output voltage are you clear that is why since you are going to get the output across RL the output voltage is mentioned as VO. Are you clear? How many things are used? You are giving some amount of input voltage into the circuit and there you are going to get the output voltage, constant output voltage. Are you clear? This input voltage can also be called as VI. VI is called input voltage. Are you clear? This is the zener diode. This is nothing but zener diode. Okay. Here this is the P end of the diode, this is N end of the diode, the P end is connected with negative and N end is connected with positive, the zener diode is connected in the reverse bias connection, you should know that. Are you clear? Now if you vary the input voltage, though if it is varied there will be getting the constant output voltage. Here the zener diode it will have its own breakdown voltage. The breakdown voltage of the zener diode is called as VEZ. While buying the zener diode from the market you have to specify the breakdown voltage of the zener diode. It may be of any value are you clear. So, the for example, if the zener breakdown voltage is 6 volt means the output voltage also will be equal to 6. 
if the zener breakdown voltage is 9 volt means the output will be 9 volt the zener breakdown voltage and output voltage both of them will be same are you clear though if you vary the input voltage the output voltage is constant that depends on the breakdown voltage of the zener diode that you have to understand now let's see the current flow here from the power supply some amount of current flows through the current limiting resistance that name of the resistance is called i and it can be called as total current we know kirchhoff's law here this is a junction point are you clear so when it meets the junction the total current is split into two currents the current one current is passing through the zener diode the name of the current can be called as iz otherwise it is called as zener current the remaining current is flowing through the load resistance the remaining current is flowing through the load resistance are you clear so the current which is flowing through the load resistance is called as il are you clear il don't forget so we can write the fundamental equation as total current that is current passing through rs is a sum of which two the current passing through the zener diode plus the current passing through the load resistance that you have to understand so these are all the important points this is mentioned this one is written with the help of kirchhoff's first law are you clear you have to understand one more thing that the zener breakdown voltage will be equal to the output voltage that also must be understood vz is called zener breakdown voltage for example if the zener breakdown voltage is 6 volt means the output which is obtained across rl will also be how much 6 volt if it is 9 volt mean this one also will be equal to 9 volt whatever may be the input voltage will be getting the constant output voltage that's why the entire circuit is acting as we are saying that it is a voltage regulator circuit are you clear and then another important thing across this rs one potential difference is created here are you clear so the potential difference across the rs can be calculated by which law ohms law how to calculate this very simple formula the voltage across rs the voltage drop across rs can be calculated by i into rs that is one of the method another method is very simple one here you are giving some input voltage you no know, this one minus this one are you clear the input voltage what you are giving minus v z that one gives you the voltage drop across rs are you clear so i i will write the formula here v rs voltage drop across rs is equal to the input voltage that is the input what you are giving minus v z i will write some typical value here for example if you are giving 15 volt as input means if the zener diode breakdown voltage is 6 volt means what would be the potential difference the potential difference across rs will be 15 minus 6 is equal to how much 9 volt are you clear so like that we can calculate the potential difference across this one if it is 15 volt means 15 minus 6 volt zener diode 15 volt is given as input 15 minus 6 is equal to how much 9 volt will be the vrs value so like that we can calculate are you clear to calculate the vo to calculate the vo we can write another formula i'll write the same formula here to calculate vrs vrs means potential difference across rs can be calculated by a simple expression called input voltage minus vz these are all the formulas must be known how to calculate vo how to calculate vo vo will be equal to which two factor must be multiplied as per ohms law il into rl 
IL, current passing through IL, current passing through RL and RL value, IL into RL Ohm's law, current passing through load resistance into rows load resistance value, if both are multiplied you will get VO. So these are the very fundamental formula must be learnt. Okay. If you want to calculate Zener current, we can use this formula Iz Zener current will be equal to I minus which one IL are you clear I minus IL total current minus the current passing through the load that gives you Zener current. Know this fundamental formula, fundamental idea is about voltage regulator then only is it clear you can understand the uh, working of which one the voltage regulator. So just I have explained the circuit and I have written all basic formula related to that. Are you clear? So here the current is passing always from this end to this end therefore this end will be positive, this end will be negative and here you are getting the DC output voltage, direct current are you clear? You will be getting a constant output voltage. So therefore the VO must be called as constant output voltage you will get the output across this RL will be always constant. But which one is variable which one can be varied you can vary the value of VI here I have drawn one line this line that shows that there is a dial with the help of this we are able to vary the uh, input voltage. So input voltage could be varied, could be very varied whatever may be the input voltage if you vary this the clear there would not be any change across the VO you will be getting the constant output voltage because it is regulating the voltage that is why the circuit is called voltage regulator there the Zener diode it plays a vital role can you understand okay thank you.